Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Agrarian Skies. I'm here with Sneaky once again tonight. Hello. Yeah, Kate, as always, uh, lately seems to be sending her regrets a lot. She's... Emma's clingy. <laughs> hey, you know, kids are definitely priority number one, so... Yep. So I've just been examining the uh, magic quests, and I actually finished up a couple here. We, of course, got the thumbometer last episode. And we all, I also made some glass files, because they don't actually require any um, special uh, crafting to get access to. Which is good. And so from here, I can actually start doing some of the research. Which, I'm not sure. It's really hard to tell what, actually requ what the prerequisite items are on this uh, tree here. It's a little crowded. I don't know if there's any other word for it, really. It is. The, the quest tree here is very, very crowded. So I'm going to start with the obvious ones and get the uh, research expertise and mastery because, honestly, we're going to need all of the... Uh... Oh, yeah. So, oh, hold on. Wait, I think he's got full... I think this is a full purchase. Uh, it is. Which carries its own downside of needing a metric ton of um, of, of, of aspects. Yeah, it's uh, compared with the uh, way I... Compared with how I... With research, it's uh, quite expensive, isn't it? All right, well, let's see if we can find this... Uh, ex asterisk. Yeah, that ain't happening right now. Yeah, blood magic. Agromancy. I'm just curious. All right, so I can make um, the various infused stones, and apparently mana infused ore with one of these, uh, with the, one of the mods that's on here. Interesting. Okay, I need to figure out what I'm actually going to need right now. Great, with one core. Hmm. Try making a runic matrix. I've got to learn the research. That that one's got a. There's a fair bit of research before you can get the uh, runic matrix. Ah. Uh, yeah. Um. It's not immediately visible. I actually can't remember the tree uh, that create allows it to unlock. Off the top of my head. Alchemic furnace? No, you're you're not going to be able to do that. Baitwood wood rod. We are going to need to get great wood somehow. We have a great wood tree. Uh, sapling. Okay, we will save that for later then. Yeah. Uh, warded jar. Yeah, that's. Net you ten labels. Yeah, that's uh, again needs to be unlocked. Um, I think I need to go through. Um... Well, actually, uh, honestly, yeah, that's the place to start. Nitor, alimentum, distillation, and then there we are. Warded jars and labels. Cool. All right, I can make warded jars now. Hopefully. Glass panes. And a slab. I mean, labels aren't a huge deal, but uh, it's nice to not have to make them, so. Good. One worded jar. Netting me. Um. There we are. Some labels. Now, if you can manage to get Thaumium, that would be really handy because it's also needed for Tinker Toys. Okay, well, um, Thaumium is actually, I think, something we could accomplish today. 
Let me just unlock it quick, because that's an alchemy item, alchemy item as well. Oh wait, no, that is actually not true. We need mana steel and signalum for the uh, the exotic metals one. So we still need that signalum. We need to figure out how oh, to do that. Oh, I already had that. I just have. Oh, that's already. Um, just give me a minute. Uh, I actually we were set up to do that uh, a little while ago. Um, I made signalum actually. Because I made the. Uh, Give me a second here. Oh, and I was going to make a... We can make a golden bag of holding if we want now. If we need extra storage space on our on our persons. I don't know that it's really super necessary. Not at this point. Alright, there we go. Alright. Mm. Signalum requires copper, silver, and destabilized redstone. I better make sure I got those ratios right here. I think the only reason we don't have um, credit for it is because I actually wound up making a. Uh, um, I didn't make. <sighs> shoot, I didn't make an ingot out of it. I made a gear. So that's why we don't have credit for having completed it. Ah. Copper, silver, and one bucket of destabilized redstone. We've got a magma crucible downstairs, which is all we need to get. To... And that's, oh, by the way, this tank over here. Right, see where I'm standing? Yeah. That tank's configured to pull any liquids in. So things like uh, in liquid and um, ender pearls and redstone, anything that's too requires more heat than we can produce in the furnace. That's a point where we can put it in. Just uh. Oh my, there's an interesting new flower called the begonia. Begonia. <laughs> you, you feed it spare drones, and the life force within the drone will convert it into mana. Cool. Well, we're gonna, we do have, we are going to have an excess of drones. In fact, we have, you could probably take about half of the drones that are in each of those beehives right now. There's almost, there's over 20 of them. All right, here comes the uh, signalum. There we are. All right, I'm just going to throw the signalum and get into the network for now. But hopefully that will get us credit for the quest. So now we just need mana steel, huh? Working on it. Okay. How much further up the tree is that for you, anyways? Uh, it's next, actually. Oh, cool. Then we need to figure out how to get our hands on Ardite. For that tree. But that's not something we really have to fret ourselves about. Okay. But making Thaumium is one of the things on the list right now. Which is just... Alright, I need a... my cauldron. What did I do with that? I had a magic cauldron, what did I do with it? Shoot, did I... I had it, did I lose it or something? That'd be annoying. Oh, it's crucible, never mind. There it is. Okay. It has to be lava, doesn't it? Initially for the cauldron. Does that ring a bell? 
Um, I thought it was just seven iron. No, 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 to, to make it go. It needs a heat source. I don't know that it... Yeah, like fire or night or, or something. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Constant source of heat. Um, yeah, I'm going to assume that uh, torch... I know night ore will do it, but a uh, torch is a bit cheap. Um, do we have some netherrack in here? No, but you can make some. Let's see if I can remember how to make that. That was... Alright, back to the quest book, because that seems to be the only place some of these recipes show up. Funny that. Netherrack. Stone barrel of lava and redstone dust. That's right. Netherrack's marginally safer than a bucket of lava, I'd like to think. Flint and steel? That's an odd question, isn't it? Somewhere, probably. Don't see one. Uh, we might... You know, it's actually conceivable that we don't have one. Now that I think about it. I've never lit a fire on anything. Okay, now I've got a door song stuck in my head. Oh? Baby, can you light my fire? <laughs> yeah, there's a brain worm. Okay, I need to drop this down a bit. I want the silly thing to be accessible. Just trying to find a place where I'm not going to burn down half of our base, that's all. That would be a plus, yes. Yeah. Fortunately, we're not at nearly as much risk as we are when we do something like, um... Like working in a forest or something. Bucket of water, bucket of boiling water. Okay, what should we start with in our alchemical journey? And we have mana steel. Nice. Ooh, that gets us terra steel. Okay, we're officially out of some aspects again. Let's see, that is Hortensia and... Mana steel appears to be writable. R appears. Oh, really? That's a nice. Touch. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Whoops. Since your crystallization is the one I wanted. Void. One, two, three, four, five. It also apparently can mine redstone. Cool. That's kind of neat. So, I think I 
my sanity. Do we have any quicksilver? And apparently, Terra Steel has Right of Blessed, which I assume means it gets actually more than one extra modifier slot. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. We might. Actually... It also has a mining level of redstone and has a mining speed of nine, which is actually not bad. Okay, we don't have. Okay, we have a pretty big thing missing. We need silver wood. Well, how do you propose we get some? I'm just. Um, wait a minute. There was an X Nilo. There was like an infusion or something that'll let you get it. Oh. That would be useful. I think I saw it as a reward somewhere. Oh, hold on. Passive scanning. Hmm, interesting. The scholar's lens is uh, goes in the goggles of revealing. Um, it'll scan all items you see for their aspects. Interesting. Just while walking around, apparently. Hmm. Yeah, once you can make the goggles of revealing, of course. Of course. Okay, we can get a silverwood sapling by making an alchemical furnace. That's not too bad. I can do that right now. Cauldron. Furnace. And then, oh, I need some uh, stone. I'm going to need to turn it into shards. Come here. There we go. All right, now if memory serves, we need the fancy stone. Might not be able to make without a better wand, which would be mildly unfortunate. Oh, now I can just barely make it. Arcane stone blocks. And then we'll just turn this cauldron into something more useful. And that should get us a silverwood tree, but there we are. Excellent. So the downside is um, silverwood saplings have a really bad return on uh, growth, but we're going to have to take the chance. I'm going to put this, uh, move this pure daisy of yours. Sure. Let's plant our thumb tree there. Do you want to remove that little thingy up top? Oh, yes. That's probably a good idea. I have killed nine of ten creepers. I need one more creeper. Nice. In a annoying sort of way. Okay. Is our alchemical furnace? Worded jar. Shards. Silver. Oh, we got an order cluster. Useful, useful. Okay. Now, the problem right now is that we have a severe shortage of wand-related things. Our wands are get our wands pretty crappy. So I'm going to get access to our next tier of wand. Because at least it won't destroy a node by accident. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. Just a little boom, then. Yeah, Mr. Number 10 wasn't too happy in being Mr. Number 10. 
he was uh, unwilling to uh, be part of your questing experience, huh? Ah oh, well, no accounting for taste, I suppose. It's gonna take we need two great wood logs. Also, we apparently have mob griefing off because it didn't blow up any of the cobblestone, so that's good too. That might actually be designed by by design in Skyblock. Because I certainly didn't make any changes to the server settings when we started this up. That that is exactly as things were when we started. Alright. I am not gonna complain. No, me neither. Okay. Seeing lots of uses for silverwood saplings, but no recipes for silverwood. None of them are very good uses, so take that for what you will. All right. They come later in the tech tree. The the recipe to make silverwood saplings. Yeah, it's an ex nihilo um, thing, but you need the. Um... Uh, the, the the infusions to do it. Oh, it's the ex it's an ex asterisk uh, ex asterisk thumbcraft thing or something. There's a tab here in the Thumbonomicon for ex asterisk uh, thumbcraft. Yeah, it's in there. Okay. Um, bait, but but you have to have the uh, the infusion matrix unlocked first. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I will try and get that next. Oh, infusion matrix can be unlocked now. In fact. I just need a bunch more of this. We're gonna run out of some... Uh... Okay, there it is. Infusion is now available. Then you should see it show up in your ex asterisk tab. Uh, hasn't yet, but it's possible there's something else I haven't researched yet. Possible. Oh, there's that thomic stone extruder. There's actually uh, four. I missed four tabs. Oh, interesting. We got the ability to unbalance shards in one of these. That sounds less useful. It might not be. If you have it in this mod, if you have an excess of uh, balanced shards, you could actually, as rewards, you could actually need to turn it into something more useful. Just a possibility, that's all. Suffice to say, you never know what's actually going to wind up being useful in uh, modded Minecraft of this sort. Yeah, but unbalanced, um, when you're dealing with my, with Thomcraft, remember, Thomcraft requires very carefully balanced areas oh, to work oh, oh, optimally. Oh, no, no, no. So if... um, balance, unbalancing shards means taking a balanced shard and turning it into one of the uh, six components, I'll bet. Ah. In fact, I'm going to look at it right now. Shard transmutation. Um, maybe not. Maybe it's not. Maybe that was just a weird. Oh, you know what? That was a. That's just a duplicate uh, research from another tab. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Those creepers have got it in for you today. Holy crap! They they are not willing to uh, to cooperate with my experiment today. All you need is one more of them to live long enough to be converted. All right. Well, it's possible we're going to get skunked just by the sheer amount of uh, Procantio we're going to need. I'm not... We might need to make a... That's probably... You know, that's probably what I'm going to need to make next is a deconstruction table. And of course, memory serves. Whoops. I did not actually mean to do that. Yeah, break down objects into their simplest parts for research. Okay, 
because we are going to have a sheer serious serious shortage of certain kinds of aspects here yeah probably in a pretty big hurry too now i read somewhere that um there might actually be nodes down near the uh down near the void yeah but you need to uh survive getting down that low first yeah I was hoping I could scan that. Whoa! That is a big friggin' tree. Awesome! Now, here's a question. Do you think that the, um... Uh, a crook would work on a silverwood. Possible. I guess we got nothing to lose by trying, do we? Just thinking about it, we have absolutely nothing to lose by trying because the worst case scenario is it's exactly the same re return on investment as default. So, fingers crossed. Let's get ourselves some silverwood saplings. We got a big one, by the way. I noticed. out of it. It's promising, I suppose. The odds, odds of getting an actual sapling are so vanishingly low, though, that... might not be helping. Whoops. Whatever happened to the Fortune 10 uh, crook that we got as a reward back in, like, episode 2 or 3? <laughs> I think Kate might still have it. I might have to get her to log in. Maybe I'll just hold off cutting down the rest of that tree for the moment. Just until, also, I get a axe that can actually cut it. So what you're saying is that it just doesn't cut it right now? Yeah, it does not cut it. Mine does. Oh, you've got a better better than bronze hatchet? I've got an alumite um, matic. Oh, cool. Well, we do want to hold off until we get that crook from Kate, because that might make a big difference for us. Absolutely. Yeah. It's too bad we didn't get ourselves a node out of this one, but that's okay. We didn't? No, no, no new. You don't get pure nodes in every tree. Well, did you check with the... Oh, yeah. No, I, ch I checked. Oh, yeah, I looked. There's there's no node in there. Not to worry. Oh! What the... Maybe there was. I take that back. What the heck are you doing up there? Well, apparently we're going to wind up in a magic biome now. That's not going to break my heart. There's something that will that I really want from a magic biome. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to need that matic from you then, because I need to uh, be able to see this node. Okay, hunting monsters has been achieved. We get two spawn blizzes, which we'll hold off on using, and then either a half a heart or a reward bag. Which would you prefer? Uh, half, uh, I think, reward bags. We, we're doing okay on hearts from the mandatory heart quests. So, yeah, get the reward bag, because those are always... have good odds of something really... Well, <laughs> they've got good odds of something good. Ah. Okay, let's go ahead and 
see what we get out of this. Whoa, we have maxed out our arrows. We need By some, a good margin. We probably need some void over there, don't we? Yes, yes we do. Okay, can I borrow your uh, Matic for a minute? Thank you kindly, I will be right back with it. I'm just gonna go get a look at this uh, node and see what, see how good it, if it's any good. Um, don't, don't break the block that the node is actually yep, in. I know. Oh, don't worry. I know all about Silverwoods. Not to worry. I'm just trying to get, I'm just trying to get access to the block it's in. That's all. There it is. A pure, it's a pure fading node, so unfortunately, it's going to not last if we uh, take any aspects from it. Ah, uh, nuts. Plain reward, mystical purple flower, and a mystical purple flower seed. Ah, uh, too bad. Well, we've we've had some pretty amazing luck with these, so it's bound to happen at some point. Thank you, sir. There's you. Sir. Thank you kindly. Okay, so, yeah, so no saplings yet. We're going to try and get the crook from Kate. And I was thinking we should probably try and grow this great wood. The question is, will a great wood tree grow from a single sapling, or does it require a two-by-two? Two, uh... do, you, do you know off the top of your head? Do not know off the top of my head. The next one is zombie attack, pig persecution, sheep slaughterer, and the terrible, which is apparently a named boss in the nether somewhere. Interesting. All right, well, those are going to be some interesting jobs. Um, okay, so I've just uh, planted the greatwood sapling in front of our harvester. I figure if it grows, the harvester will just break it down for us. All will be well with the world. And if it doesn't, well, nothing lost. I think that's going to be a good place to call it a day, though. Um, huh. Progress has been made, slowly. I actually unlocked the uh, research to make this um, this cobble extruder, which I will do off camera, assuming it doesn't require something I don't have access to yet. Actually, it might, because I think I think there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, okay, there's a lot of stuff that's gated on thomium, and I really want to get myself some better tools. Oh, I got silverwood. Actually, I can make uh, filters now, which means I can make the uh, alchemical construct. Okay, we can make progress. Progress of a sort. But that'll be something for next time. Uh, okay. Anything else uh, you want to add, Sneaky? I I think we're doing pretty good. We've got a little bit of um, little little bit of a Tanya going on here. Not a whole lot. But then again, there's not a whole lot of Batania you really need to do to be able to get the achievements. Yep. Um, so just kind of let her ride there. I'm going to keep an eye on it and to see if they do, in fact, have decaying passives going on. Um, other than that, the only other magic mod we haven't started in is blood magic. And for that, I really want to build a really impressive structure from the get-go. Mm -hmm. we we'll need a new platform for that. Yeah, we will definitely need a new platform for that. Yeah. That's it's going to be its own 16 by 16. Yeah, well, and the uh, platform also, with a little bit more Thomcraft, we're actually going to be able to start thinking about block replacement and making the place look a little better. So, yeah. Soon. Soon, they say. Soon, TM. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.